Hi, it's Celeste, your canary in the coal mine. So today I wanted to talk about the fact that 287 different chemicals were found in the umbilical cord blood of newborns. This group called EWG, Environmental Working Group, did a very small study where they took the umbilical cord blood of brand new babies and they tested it for various chemicals. Now we used to think that the baby's blood system was shielded from the mother's blood system by the placenta. Well that's been disproven that, that there's actually a lot of transfer between the mother and the child in the womb. And so this is clear evidence of that. This baby has not been out of the womb yet. So the baby itself was not exposed to these chemicals and yet they find 287 different chemicals in the bloodstream of the newborn. So just to get my numbers right here, um, they said that the babies tested averaged 200 chemicals each and, just, and 287 different chemicals and um, 180 of those chemicals are known to cause cancer and the researchers thought that if they had tested a broader range of chemicals, they would have found even more different things in the blood, but that it's very, very expensive to test the umbilical cord blood. So they limited the number of things they tested for. Um, in 1976, a federal law allowed 63,000 chemicals that were already in use to just be called safe without any testing. So that's part of what we're seeing now. Um, of the 287 chemicals, 47 were common consumer product chemicals, including seven pesticides, eight stain and grease resistant coatings, and 32 different kinds of fire retardants. Um, 212 of the chemicals have been severely restricted or even banned, and yet they're still found in newborn blood. Uh, 14 were pesticides, one was a stain and grease resistant coating, and 147 were electrical insulators, and 50 were chemicals in broad use. And then there was 28 chemicals that were related to waste byproducts, 18, were chemicals found because garbage was incinerated or in the production of plastics. Ten were fossil fuel combustion byproducts. And one was chemicals found in coal burning power plants. That's the 287. So think about it. The fetus is the most vulnerable person in our population. They are just developing. Anything they're exposed to could affect their development. And, and um, I mean, it's just tragic if you think about it, that, that adults, if you're exposed to something, your body's already fully formed and it may in fact cause cancer, but your body's already fully formed. Whereas with the, with the fetus, that body is just being formed and yet it's being exposed to more than, or just a little under, uh, or just around 200 chemicals um, on average. I mean, what's that doing? Some of them are cancer causing, some of them are endocrine disruptors. An endo endocrine disruptor is something that affects the hormone levels in the child. So what's that doing there? I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just appalling that our government lets this continue to happen and they give the manufacturers a little slap on the wrist and they've got this long list of chemicals that have never been tested for safety that are allowed and then when they do when the consumers somehow push back and they find something that um, really is appalling then then the FDA just uh, tells the manufacturers well you need to run some tests and we'll give you a few years to do that and and uh, they may not even come back with um, any real data that shows that they're, they're putting that chemical in the product is of any benefit to the consumer. 
Uh, in fact, I'm going to record another video right after this talking about a particular um, chemical that, that in a lot of products. So that's what I wanted to tell you about today. I mean, I just find it frightening to think that, that children are being born already exposed to all these environmental and product related chemicals. They're not, they don't even come out of the womb as a clean slate. They've already been subjected to chemicals that could have altered how they developed. So um, that's my little health tip for today, as, as frightening and unnerving as that is. It's like, that's why I'm so strong on trying to use products that are made with real ingredients, not synthetic chemicals, and use things that are as clean as possible from chemicals. Manufacturers put chemicals in things to make the shelf life longer or to improve the color or give it a fragrance or, or um, any number of things. They have their reasons for putting the chemicals in, but we as consumers don't have, we don't really benefit from those. I don't benefit because the, the thing can sit on the shelf for five years. The manufacturer benefits from that. It potentially it harms me, you know, I'd like to see the products maybe turn over faster um, because maybe that would be safer for me, but that's not in the manufacturer's best interest. And our government is always walking this funny line between supporting the manufacturers in, you know, to support the economy versus protecting consumers. And frankly, the FDA doesn't have very big of a staff to be able to do all this testing. The FDA does not do this testing. They put out a mandate to the manufacturers for them to do the testing. And because the, from what I understand, the FDA only has about enough staff to test seven products a year. Well, 63,000 different chemicals? How many years is that gonna take? So don't trust that just because something is on the shelf that it's safe. Be an informed consumer and pick and choose among the products that you put on your body or in your mouth or in your food because a considerable number of those are not safe for your health. So that's my health tip for today or my rant for today. <laughs> and that, as usual, I want you to get well and stay well. And I also wanted to remind you that my website is yourcanaryinthecoalmine.com and there you can find an archive of all the videos I've ever recorded. Plus you could sign up for my emails if you would like to receive not only the notices of these videos but other things that I find of, um, that you might be interested in. So thanks.